Hello friends, in this video, we will see the properties of quadratic equation. So for example, uh, if the quadratic equation is in the form of ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0, where a comma b comma c are constant, okay, a comma b comma c are constant and where a not equal to 0, a not equal to 0. So then, if the given quadratic equation is in this form, so then a quadratic equation has only two roots. Quadratic equation has only two roots. For example, a quadratic equation cannot have more than two roots. So it will have always two roots only. And the next thing is, for example, if alpha is root of the quadratic equation if the alpha is the quad of the i mean the root of the quadratic equation then x minus alpha x minus alpha is a factor is a factor of given equation given quadratic equation given quadratic equation okay so the quadratic equation will have only two roots so it do not have more than two roots okay if alpha is the root of the given quadratic equation then x minus alpha is a factor of the given quadratic equation so that means by multiplying something with this x minus alpha we can generate the quadratic equation okay so and next one is for example if we assume alpha comma beta are the roots of the quadratic equation or roots of quadratic equation the roots of the quadratic equation then the sum of quadratic roots is given by sum of the roots is given by minus b by a minus b by a so if the given equation is in this form so then the sum of the roots is given by minus b by a so that is equal to minus of coefficient of x by coefficient of x square coefficient of x square so the sum of the two roots is given by minus b by a so that means that is going to be the coefficient of x by the coefficient of x square so in the same manner, so the multiplication of two roots, I mean that is alpha into beta is going to be equal to the C by A. So that is equivalent to constant term, constant term by coefficient of x square, coefficient of x square. So what are the properties of quadratic equation? Quadratic equation it will have only two roots. Okay. And if alpha is the root of the quadratic equation, then x minus alpha is a factor of given quadratic equation. That means by multiplying something with this x minus alpha, we can generate the quadratic equation. For example, the given quadratic equation is in this form ax square plus bx plus c is equal to zero. Then if alpha comma beta are the roots of the quadratic equation then the sum of the given roots is given by minus b by a where b is the coefficient of x and a is the coefficient of x square in the same manner so the multiplication of two roots is given by c by a where c is the constant term and a is the coefficient of x square okay so let's see one example based on these properties for example we have an equation x square minus 6x plus 9 equal to 0 9 equal to 0 find the difference of the roots of this equation find the difference find the difference of the roots of given equation okay so the given equation is in the form of x square minus 6x plus 9 equal to 0 
and we have to find the roots of this equation and then we have to find the uh, difference of those roots okay so there are two methods in this use that formula that is x the roots is given by minus b plus r minus under the root of b square minus 4ac by 2a so one time we take plus one time we take minus so we will get two values for x and then we find the difference so this about this equation i already told in the previous video so another method is using this one so alpha plus beta if alpha comma beta are the two roots of this equation then alpha plus beta is given by minus b by a and the multiplication of two roots is given by c by a so in this equation so a is equal to 1 the coefficient of x square is 1 so b is equal to minus 6 so that is the coefficient of x and the c is the constant that we have 9 so if alpha comma beta are the roots of this equation alpha comma beta are the roots of this equation then alpha plus beta equal to minus b by a so already minus of minus 6 by a is 1 so that is going to be 6 and the multiplication of two roots is given by c by a where c is minus 6 and a and so c is 9 and the a c is 9 and a is 1 so that is going to be 9 so now we have the two values that is alpha plus beta equal to 6 and alpha beta is equal to 9 so we have to find the difference of two roots okay differences of two roots so as we know that is alpha minus beta whole square is equal alpha plus beta whole square minus 4 alpha beta okay so this one gives the equation is going to be equal to okay so we will substitute the values of alpha plus beta alpha beta in this equation so that is when the alpha plus beta is 6 so 6 square is 36 minus 4 into 9 4 into so 9 so that is going to be 36 so that is equal to 0 so that means alpha minus beta so that is alpha minus beta whole square is equal to 0 so that means alpha minus beta equal to 0 so that means the differences of this the roots of this equation is going to be equal to 0 equal to 0 okay so i hope you got this one thank you very much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel